on our coverage of Thursday afternoon baseball. Athletics baseball as Oakland goes up against the Toronto Blue Jays. Where else but 2K Sports? And a very good afternoon. The Rogers Center in Toronto, the site for our broadcast. Defending the home field advantage today in Toronto, it's the Blue Jays. Thank you for joining us, Major League Baseball, presented by 2K Sports Thursday afternoon game. We'll see Roy Holiday pitch. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be today as he goes against Oakland? Now, this right-hander on the mound today should not have much difficulty going through this lineup. They tend not to hit the quality pitchers in the game, and he clearly is one of the best around. Here's the offensive lineup for the A's. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher. Henderson tries to do some damage now. Well, the uh, Athletics with a victory last night. Now in the third of this three-game set, they'll try to go for the sweep against the Jays. Holiday with the delivery. Cutter just misses. 1-0. Three-run lead holds up in their last win. They're playing good ball. Well, and I'm sure that there's going to be no complaints coming out of their clubhouse about this win. Winning by three. Ball Cutter two. is low in the dirt for a ball. Right and he comes back with a cutter for a called strike. Two and one. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Ball Pitch in the dirt. Blocked by the catcher. with that pitch he allows that leadoff runner on free pass Boy, how many times have we seen the leadoff walk come around to score a lot You've got a chance to check out the Blue Jays defensively around the horn so John any individual stand out well Vernon Wells's defense is very underrated people don't understand that because of the offensive numbers he puts up they overlook his defense but he's just as valuable on that side of the ball as he is on the offensive side. Takes a lot of hits away from players. Still possesses, at his age, a pretty good throwing arm, too. Holiday with the delivery. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 pitch, a sinker that tails outside to an 0. Came with a cutter 2-0, but he missed it. Two and one. Two-one pitch, a bullet taken for a called strike two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. And the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. Fox gets a shot here. Well, everybody in baseball knew that Roy Halladay was one of the special pitchers going in Major League Baseball. But a lot of questions about what would he be able to do in the postseason. Well, question answered in his first postseason start when he threw a no-hitter against the Cincinnati Reds. One out, runner on at first. It's fouled off. And certainly, uh, Halliday, guys, is recognized as somebody everybody wanted to pick up. Uh, he is, despite the fact all the postseason wasn't good, the guy you want on the mound in big games. Swung on and ripped towards second. And there's one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it.
That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoke. He stung it to right at the second baseman. Let's take a look at last year's rankings and see how the Oakland Athletics fared. Third in stolen bases, sixth in triples, and they were in the top ten in team batting average. An offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. Two outs and a man on first. He's running. Ball one. He's and he is out trying to take second. The kind of inning the defense likes three up, three down. So it'll be the Toronto Blue Jays, bottom half of the first. Oakland starter for our ball game. Steve, he's got a focus here. Toronto hitters. What's he thinking about? Well, a little mismatch in this one right here. One of the best lefties in the game against the lineup that does struggle at times to score runs. So it could be a lopsided ball game. Fastball just misses. 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. He delivers. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball, but he missed. Strike one. The two one low for a ball and it's suddenly three and one. Well anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Hut shot towards the hole and Tejada picks it up and his throw is in time first out of the inning. Take a moment here to look at that lineup for the Blue Jays. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, center fielder that hits in the middle of the lineup and produces home runs and RBIs. Vernon Wells is the guy you want to keep an eye on here today. He has that power bat. Anytime you make a mistake, especially middle end, he'll take you out of the ballpark, and he'll win games for you with his glove and with his bat. One out, nobody on. Fastball misses away, 1-0. Oh. Well, the Blue Jays didn't pick and choose in 2010. They had a winning record against every division in the league. The West was no exception. Now the 1-0 -oh pitch. Swung out and missed, and it's 1-1. One one. Talking about the Blue Jays against the West, their record there, Steve, was 17-14 and 14 last year. They played pretty well against everybody except for the Angels. 3-6 and six against the Angels. And that's an Angels team that can manufacture. You play close baseball against them, you have to make the plays defensively and get the big hit. 1-1 one, one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. and two. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary. Hitting his spots and with great velocity. The 1-2 pitch. A shot up the middle. Collins. And a good throw gets him. Two down. Here's a look at the A's on defense. A, a solid defensive team right here, especially within this division. They're the best. The fewest number of errors committed of anybody in the division. It really does separate them defensively from all the other clubs. Here's what the Athletics have in store. They wrap up the series with Toronto today. They'll continue their road trip for the next series. The Twins at Target Field. That'll be a three-game series. And then the road trip continues. They'll face some good competition. The White Sox at U.S. Cellular Field. So they'll be on the road quite a bit over this next stretch. Two outs and nobody on. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. Oh. 
The 2-0 pitch. Third one. pitch to him. Swung on and missed. Strike one. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. That's called for a strike. It'll leave in the count at two and two. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Toronto. Well, uh, has it gotten colder? Or maybe, uh, maybe warming up a bit? It started out really chilly here. The players loosened up a bit now. Oh, uh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Here's the one all from Holiday. One Good one. cut fastball in there. One and one. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. He's in there at second base. Still no one away. Springtime around Major League Baseball. Here's a look at the Blue Jays. The series with Oakland concluding today. They head out to take on a team that matches up well against them. The Angels hosting that one. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After that, they meet up with Ichiro. A road series facing the Mariners. That's quite a few road games coming up, and that's always challenging. Simmons up at the plate. On its second, Jackson. Holiday with the delivery. Ball! Sinker misses badly, 1-0. Well, this guy has some great late-breaking sink on his fastball. It's his out pitch. Strike 1-0 one. pitch. That's a cutter in there, 1-1. One one. Even though the hitters know it's coming, Steve, that out pitch you're talking about with that movement, it is tough to get under it. Well, that, that's the issue. The sinker down in the zone. Hitters tend to swing over the top of the ball or top the ball directly into the ground. The 1-2 on its way. I don't know how you lay off that sinker, but it's 2-2. Two -two. Foul! And it's fouled off. Two two pitch ball. brings that curveball just about had him, but it's full. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Here's the three two pitch, ball. and a pitcher's not going to get the call on that one. That's going to be in the base on balls category. I just let this battle get away from him as the batter wasn't going to waste any swing on anything outside the zone. And fans, look out for next Tuesday. A road game for the Rays. They take their game to Boston to challenge the Red Sox at Fenway. Be sure to tune in 7 o'clock Eastern. Oh, Gary, that should be a fun one to watch for sure. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Cut fastball swung on and missed. 0-1.
spins, checks him at second. The pitch swings and hits this one deep down the line and left as he drops back and puts it away. And that keeps the runners at first and second. Take a look at the teams who led in stolen bases last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Rays. White Sox in second. In third, the A's. Fourth, the Mariners. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. But there's nothing like the stolen base. To me, as a guy who couldn't steal a lot of bases, it is still fun for me to watch because I love watching these guys, the way they tinker with the pitcher, the way they make the pitcher work, and that cat-and-mouse game between them, the pitcher, and the catcher, about pitch-outs and everything else, makes it so exciting to watch. And this team, one of the best in the league last year at stealing bases. Oh, 1 Good hard cutter in for a call strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. the curveball it's in there struck him out two down now 79 on the gun and look at the break on that pitch on KK that pitch certainly not lacking movement John well it's controlled movement and that's why he's able to throw so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat Miguel will get the RBI chance last year 265 against the Jays Two down. Runners at first and second. Strike Swing one. and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. A good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. Here's the delivery. That's a strike and an 0-2 count. Tejada now will watch that strike zone carefully. Well, he's got good movement on that cut fastball, and it tailed right beyond his bat. Couldn't make contact. On the way. Ball! Oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. And Miguel Tejada takes a look at that one. A ball evens the count. We started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. At the belt, here's the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. That's continued to be silenced by Roy Halladay. He emerges from the first two innings on scale. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. Leading it off is Vernon Wells. And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off the A's. First pitch and he misses the fastball. Strike one. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. He sends this one in the air towards center. That falls in. First hit of the ball game for this club. And now look back to last season in the year that Vernon Wells had. Fourth in doubles. Seventh in triples. And the power numbers were there as he was ranked in the top 10 in home runs. And it's always nice to have a bat like that in your lineup. 
And Bell's in the box. Wells is at first. Fast ball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Here's the 1 0. Ball. Fastball low, 2 0. Wide fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Bell's taking, it's in there. Well, climbing the ladder with that four seam fastball, trying to get the hitter to elevate his eyes. He gets the strike on it, and the hitter doesn't pull the trigger. He's ready now, the 2-1. Swung on line to right center field. That's one away. And they'll hold him at first base. I've got a moment to take a look back to last year, Toronto Blue Jays. First in home runs. First in slugging percentage. And when you look at their offense, doubles were the name of the game. Ranked second in doubles in the league. That ability to end up on second base, putting themselves in scoring position as batters. Firefield at the plate. In 2010, Oakland finished nine games behind the Texas Rangers, but it was a big step forward for this franchise. Puts a little pressure on the defense and on the pitcher right now. Speed at first base, tie game. You've got to hold them close, but you can't be distracted. You still have to go after the hitter. First pitch was a strike, 0-1 now. Well, certainly, Steve, we Oakland just relies on pitching. I guess their hope now is... What ended last year continues this year. As a small market team, it's hard to get the timing right. Sometimes the pitchers are ahead of the hitters. Sometimes the hitters are ahead of the pitchers. They need to see if they can get some hitters to go with these good young arms. And the double play, they got a boat. And so out of the inning, only eight pitchers thrown. That's pretty efficient. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Toronto. Bando is up now. He's going to start the third here. Right one. Oh and one holiday kicks and delivers. There is a swing and a liner. One away. Now this shortstop makes it look easy, but there's nothing easy about that. Those hard line drives often are like knuckleballs coming at him, but he made the play. Base is empty with one away. Holiday with the delivery. Swung on and fouled away. Foul! Oh. One that one. one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's two and one. Oh, that's a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off of it. Strike Sinker down. called strike two. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. And now we're going to get a chance to see the cutter here, Gary. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not.
Bases empty and two down. And the first pitch. Drops down a bunt. Holiday. And he's safe in there at first. Got to like this, trying to make something happen. You need base runners. You got to get on and let the rest of the lineup do their thing. Good punt. Fox gets a turn here. 0 for 1 thus far. Runner on first, two away. And the first pitch, line towards second. That one's grabbed, side retired. So, Roy Holiday out of the inning. He continues to dominate through three innings of work. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. And in the batter's box, it's Carter. He'll start things off for the home team. We're in the third. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Well, you see, just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. The 1-0 now. 1-0 pitch is a fastball, swung on and missed, 1-1. -oh. He deals. Swung on, hit. That one gets through for a base hit. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. Our State Farm leaderboard recapping the teams that led the way in extra base hits last year. Blue Jays number one, the Red Sox second, in third, the Yankees, the Twins fourth, and at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, Gary, this is not a team you're going to look at and say, okay, they're going to choke up and try to hit the ball the other way. These guys try to hit the ball in the gap or over the wall, and most of the time, they... Drops down a bunt, number 18, and his throw is in time for out number one. Outstanding job of deadening the ball right there. He catches the ball on the bat, making it come off very softly and in exactly the spot where he wanted to. Good sack bunt. One out, a runner on at second base. And here's the pitch. Starts him out with a curve ball for a strike. He delivers. Swung and a ground ball to third. On the first, two away. Alomar at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. Two outs and a runner on second. And he's back easily. And the first pitch. Hit in the air to center field. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Toronto. going to be Jackson now. Had a double his last time up. First pitch to him. Strike one. That's low and outside, 1-1. Again, okay, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate 
what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Takes a call strike of the letters, and it's 1-2. and two. Well, The high curveball is a good pitch to hit. The pitcher got lucky right there. The one-two from Holiday. He fouls that one off. And so Jackson retired. One away. Well, this one, he skies this one way up in the air, but you know what? Doesn't matter how high you hit him, you have to hit him far. He didn't hit it very far. Easy out for the third base. Base is empty, one out. Strike Lays one. off that one, outside edge, and it's a strike. A good sinking movement on that pitch, right on the black, away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Good hard sinker, swung on and missed, 0-2. And Looking for the ground ball out, trying to get the hitter to roll over on it. Throws that sinker on the outside corner. You're out. Strike three called. Home plate umpire racks him up two down. A nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted. Just three pitches over the plate. And sits him down. McGuire in the batter's box. He flew out his last time up. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the first pitch. That's a foul ball. Foul! Ball. Lays off the cutter. Good pitch, but it's 1-1. And he looks at a sinker in there, and it's one and two now. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. The one-two from Holiday. Here's a sinker in there. Side's going to be retired as that's called for a third strike. So, one-two-three inning for Roy Halliday. He's been shutting him out through four. Dual shutout. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. Number two hole set to get things started. Fernandez is the batter now. He's ready to start the home half here in the fourth inning. First pitch, here it comes. Lined up the middle. Collins. And he's in there, no play. Oh, that's an error. And he's on. It's a costly error to allow him to reach base. Look at the teams who led the league in slugging last year. Brought to you by State Fire. Blue Jays, number one. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, Gary, we're going to see sluggers in this game today. And I tell you what, they got guys who can take you out of the ballpark, but they also hit a ton. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. That's one down. Vernon Wells with a runner on first. 250 is average last season against the A's. And Wells settles in first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on though. goes for a second. Strike one. 
And it's not in time, and he beats the throw. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swings at that 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. The pitch. Good eye by Vernon Wells staying away from that one, and we're even. We went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. This one foul back. Foul. Swing and a line at a right center. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. And he's in there. Oh, what a big RBI. He comes through right there in the clutch to break this scoreless tie. Great at bat. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep him close. Because if he gets in the scoring position, it may just add on to this lead. That's the second out. And he'll go back to first. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Wells is at first. First pitch on the way. That one's drilled to short. And that's through a base hit. Toronto, here's a position to get something done. Well, he's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing. And even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. And in the batter's box, it's Carter. He singled his last trip. Two men on and two men out. Here's the pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Able to drop a run here in the fourth. First run up. The Blue Jays on top. One to nothing. seven batter in the box. Here's the pitch. Oh, Sinker one. just missed. One and oh. That's a good spot to miss with that thing. Just off the corner. Fouled away. One pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike, one and two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. The one two pitch. Oh, Cutter almost rung him up, but it's two and two. And the cut fastballs in there. Strike three, one away. 
Well, two strikes, he goes right at him with a fastball. He challenges him, but he throws it at the knees, so even if it's put in play, it stays in the ballpark. Tejada at the plate. Five for 24 last year against the Blue Jays here in Toronto. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. That's a ball. Holiday misses. swings and misses count is even now well sometimes the pitcher is just better than the hitter and on that particular pitch he threw that breaking ball down the zone he was better so you just tip your hat to him and hope you can get him again Strike swing and a miss on the sinker and it's one and two Tejada hits the ground ball. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Bando up at the plate. Lined out last time up. Base is empty with two outs. Holiday with the delivery. Swung on, line to right field. Uh, and he's aboard. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy in first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. And Holiday gets it by. That's a called strike, and the count goes to 0 1. Cutter runs outside, and it's even at 1. Well, he didn't chase that one. That pitch down and away. Good movement on the cut fastball. He just laid off of it. It's a pitch with two strikes. You better be swinging it, though. The pitch. Hit that one right back up the middle. Fernandez throws to first side is retired. Now we see a good inning here from Roy Halladay. A half dozen strikeouts for him so far in the ballgame. And it'll be the Blue Jays coming right up. Number three hitter up. He's going to start the home half of the fifth. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. It's caught. And the lineups were the most home runs around the league last year, courtesy of State Farm. Blue Jays number one, the Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees. White Sox fourth. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, a lot of times they say that power hitters can be pitched to if you pitch them carefully. The problem is with this team, they have a ton of power hitters in this lineup. Number one in baseball last year in the home run. And you make a mistake, and everyone in this lineup can make you pay with the long ball. One out, base is empty. Now the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away.
He deals. Good slur swung on and missed. 0 oh and 2. Here it comes. And it goes foul. Foul ball! Ball! Fast ball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. One-two pitch coming. Fastball, that's well off the plate. Two and two. Liner towards the hole. Fox. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Alomar up now. 0 for 2 thus far. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. Outside for a ball, one and one. Strike he two. takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. The one two on its way. Ball. Slur very tough to lay off, but it's two and two. There's a smash towards the hole. Into right field. That's a base hit. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chances of scoring a run seem pretty scarce, but they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. Fernandez settles in, reached on an error, and later scored last time through the lineup. Look here, you can look at it a couple ways. You can say, look, we've got the lead. Let's play for another big hit here. Or you can turn it on, put the pedal to the metal, and keep the offense going. I want to see him run. I think this is the time to get him going. Ready with a 1-0. That one swung on its line. And that's a base hit into left field. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, he got himself in a hitter's count. He was sitting on the fastball, got the fastball, and delivered a base hit to left. Two down. Runners at first and second. The first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. And he's back in standing up. On the way. Don't strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. And here's the delivery. One and two. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. 
That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2 2 count. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3 2. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. He and he is out. Practice makes perfect. They got him that time around. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Blue Jays one. Oakland nothing. Collins now will come to the plate. He'll get things started off as we go to the sixth. Holiday with the delivery. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Number 17. And the throw pulls him off the bag. He is safe. Oh, he has thrown it away. Safe all around. And he throws it away. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Fox gets a turn here. Lined out in his last at bat. Base runner at second with nobody out. And the first pitch. First pitch, a sinker in there. 0 and 1. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Sinker that time misses. Two and one. The two one pitch. Oh. And he misses high. That'll run the count to three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. That oh, one's going to miss. That's ball four as he heads down the line. Well, first base was open in this situation. I think they're comfortable putting him on. Well, the three ball count, he tried to at least get it in the strike zone, but the sinker ball just a little bit out of the zone. It's going to be Jackson now. You don't want to do this in this kind of a situation. And put a walk on base with a guy who's the go-ahead run in the game. That's a mistake. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Holiday with the delivery. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Simmons has a turn in the box. And he's got a shot here to give his club the lead. Just one swing could do it. Well, this is what you're waiting for. This kind of opportunity to change the game and your pitcher then can go out with much more confidence. First pitch on the way. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. and oh. He watches this one right down the middle, 1-1. and uh, It's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. The one and one. Oh. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. Oh. 
Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. The second, there's one. And that's two. A double play. And they get the time run home. 6-4-3 double play. Nice move at Sunga Base. Oh, that's a great double play. Pulling off double plays like that can really shift the momentum of the game. A chance to find out what these guys are made of right now, Gary. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Man on third, two down. And with two down and a big RBI producer at the plate, here you're not going to give him the chance to bring those runs in. Well, two outs, first base open. This is good strategy. Don't play with fire. Number three slot up again here. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Two men on, two men out. The pitch. And he takes that curveball for a strike on one. Here's a sinker that misses, one on one. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. Sinker just off the block, and it's two and one. Well, and that'll saw his bat in two if he swings at that one. Now the two one. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that's out number three. Well, they pick up a run on two hits, and they leave a couple. Even game here in Toronto. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. Delgado's batting. A terrific talent for this team. First pitch to him. Ball Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. I'll tell you what, people pay money to watch the power hitters, and that's why the Stars make the most money, because they hit the ball of the ballpark, Gary. And here's the delivery. Line drive. That's ah. foul towards first. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Good pitch on the outside corner. One and two. Oh, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. And he watches one high. Two and two. Two two pitch. You're Fastball up. in there, called third strike, one out. Well, it was probably a good idea the hitter didn't swing right there. It looked like he was thinking away. They bust him in. He'd have just broken his back. Vernon Wells at the plate. And a lot of rumors throughout the 2010 season that Vernon Wells was on the trade block. Toronto Blue Jays wanting to get rid of that contract, but Vernon put together a great year, and the Jays decided, you know what, maybe we need this guy in the middle of our lineup or we're going to compete in the American League East. One out, nobody on. And Wells settles in, first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. And certainly, guys, with Vernon Wells, he's at the point in his career where he has to keep proving himself despite a great career over and over again as everybody asks, is he at the end? Yeah, I think getting up in age a little bit in, in that huge, huge deal, I think everybody wants to see if he can play the... Swung on, liner to right, and in there, three for three ball game. And now look back to last season in the year that Vernon Wells had. Fourth in doubles, seventh in triples, and the power numbers were there as he was ranked in the top ten in home runs. And it's always nice to have a bat like that in your lineup. 
And Bell's in the box. Flew out last time. Runner at first with one down. And here's the first one. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And that gets through for a base hit. Fantastic chance here. But the bottom line is that he's on base. But I tell you what, he's going to struggle mightily if he continues to swing at that pitch down in the zone, almost in the dirt. Runners on first and second with one out. Ball! Low for ball one. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. At the belt, the 1-0. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And in there, he's 2 for 3 today. He's tired. His pitches are starting to flatten out. Three straight hits. What more do you need to see before you give him the hook? Well, you can feel the anticipation in the stands and the fans and certainly all eyes on the mound right now. Right now, he's contemplating his next move out there. He's got a tie ball game, but a big chance to score here. Well, this is a pivotal moment in this game, and the manager needs to pay a visit to the mound to make sure the club's all on the same page. They cannot afford a defensive miscommunication here. Ball one started off the at bat. It's one and zero. Oh, Fastball no. low, two and zero. Right. Swings and misses at that fastball. Now it's two and one. Here's the pitch. 2-1 oh. pitch, a fastball. Outside, 3-1. Well, even though you're 3-1 in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. Well, when you nibble like this, you get yourself in trouble. A three-ball count, he goes back to the fastball, which is what he should do, but he misses and now forces in a run. In the box, their third baseman. And he's got a shot with the bases loaded. And they can really open up this game now with a big hit. Pitcher wants this big hit more than anyone. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards third. That's one. Okay, the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Things get a little bit tight for the manager and certainly for the catcher, but most importantly for the pitcher. And he's getting his thoughts together out there, and he needs to. Already down by two, and maybe more to come. Gary, the best pitchers are the guys who can flush out the bad thoughts and focus on the task at hand. He can't worry about what got him in this situation. And the first pitch hit sharply towards the hole. One run is in. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has kept, kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get them out. Three on and one out. Here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. One and zero. Here's the one zero. 
Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Pitch on the way. And he got good wood up the middle. Tejada for one. And they turn the double play. A strike for five base hits in the inning and three runs up. The Blue Jays gaining the upper hand here. Miguel Tejada leading it up. 0 for 2 thus far. And the first pitch. Right and Holliday gets it by. That's a called strike, and the count goes to 0-1. Oh, nine outs to go right now, and, and leading by three. I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters, force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. Here's the pitch. Ball. Cut fastball in the dirt for a ball. He deals. A little too much action there, and it's two and one. Two one pitch. Strike two one pitch, a sinker taken for a called strike two. Uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. Back up the middle. Alomar. And that'll retire to Hano. Bando in the box now. Base hit his last time. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the first pitch. Up the middle. Look out off the pitcher, it bounds away. Not in time. Easily safe at first. And the throw is too late. He's in there. An infield single. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him. And maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. One out man on first. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And Holiday's pitch too low, taken for a ball. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. A 1 0 pitch. Ball. Sinker just off the black, falls behind 2 0. Here's the 2-0, oh. and that one misses outside, and he's behind 3-0. and oh. Oh, That's a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off of it. Here's the pitch. That misses ball four. That is a guy you do not want to put on base. He threw that one off the plate, maybe guessing that the guy had a green light 3-0, oh, but he's got to find the strike zone again. Collins now will come to the plate. He singled and later scored in his last time up.
Collins now will come to the plate. Two for three thus far. One out with runners at first and second. And he's easily back to the bag. First pitch, here it comes. Can make contact on that bunt attempt. That's a strike. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. There's one. And two. Double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Toronto not letting this lead go. Fernandez at the plate. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. And Houston Street gets ready to throw. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Well, when Houston Street came out of college, he was touted as the next great closer. And he had a couple good years early, but then he struggled mightily. Hit in the air to center field. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in this fourth plate appearance. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. No one out and a runner on first. Oh, he's trying to steal second. Oh. And his throw, he is out. Great throw. One zero now. One zero is a fastball that runs away to an zero. Well, Houston Street missed most of the first half due to an injury, but when he came back, he really solidified what was a shaky Rockies bullpen and almost got them in the postseason. Look for him to continue that success with that nasty sidearm slider. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Lays off the fastball low for ball three. And Houston Street, 3 6 1 ERA. That may not seem uh, that good for a closer, but he converted 20 out of 25, Steve. Well, he throws a lot of strikes. He doesn't have a lot of swing and miss stuff. He's not a dominating guy. He has to work a sequence of pitches and do it by throwing strikes. Well, it didn't look like he wanted to give him anything to hit right there. Ball four, take the base. Now, here's Vernon Wells. And not a lot of expectations here. Just a 182 lifetime average against Houston Street. One out. Runner on at first. And Wells settles in. First pitch. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. The pitch... Swung on, hit by Wells. Jackson. And he gets over and grabs it with the leather. This ball was well hit. The ball looked like it was going to carry deeper. The right fielder had just enough time to slide over and put it away. And Bell's in the box. We'll try it again here, just one for three thus far. A runner on first with two outs. 
Now the first pitch. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Here's Street. 1 0 pitch. Hit up the middle. Nope. That one right off the pitcher. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Blue Jays, four. Oakland, one. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Fox gets a shot here. Swing and a rocket towards short. And he puts that one away, one down. It's going to be Jackson now. Had a base hit his last time up. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Oh, Fastball I just misses. One and over. Well, trailing right now, down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners. Get people on and hope somebody runs into one. A three-run deficit, not too much to overcome. 1-0 on the way. Second pitch waves at a fastball. Strike one. by Jackson. Oh, two. One two pitch is high and hard. That one misses two and two. Swing and a line to left. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Simmons settling in. He hit into a double play as last time. Jackson's on first. Here's the pitch. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Well, the pitcher going for that hole and most hitters swing up and in. He found that strike zone with a four-seam fastball and he couldn't get to it. And here's the delivery. Lays off that fastball and it's 0-2. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. And Delgado pulls it in. Now it's two away. McGuire is batting. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch. He swings, hits a ball to right field. That'll do it as they put that one away. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Now, Blue Jays, home half of the eighth inning. Far field at the plate. He'll start things off, bottom half, eighth inning. Street gets set and delivered. Swing and a liner to left. 
That looks like a single. We're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. And in the batter's box, it's Carter. Last time up, he walked, forced in a run. Runner on first base, nobody out. First pitch on the way. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Oh, Gary, this guy has an outstanding slider. Such a tough pitch to hit. It almost needs a turn signal when it gets to the plate. Street gets set and delivers. Good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now, 0-2. Okay, you talk about his slider. What makes it so tough to hit him is that the break on that pitch is so big and it's so hard, it's very tough on the hitter to center the ball. And he pops it up. Should have room back there. Good oh. effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. And that's another foul ball. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a cake. That's a pretty fast pitch right there, and hard to get that much break on it. And I think the uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. One down, runner at first. First pitch on the way. Strike one! Ball! Here's a slider that misses, one and one. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. The pitch. Ball That's two. taken low for a ball, two and one. The 2-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Well, he handles that fastball on the inside corner very well. He clears his hands, rotates his hips, and gets himself a base hit to left. Runners on first and second with one out. And the first pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Ready with a 1-0. Catcher can't control it. And here's a fastball for a called strike, two and one. Come set, here's the two one pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. When you throw a two seam fastball, you want a ground ball, which means you want to throw it to the bottom of the zone. This pitch up could come back to cost him later in the game. On the way. 
This is in the air, straight away left. He makes the catch. What a play. But it keeps the runners right where they are. Now two out. Not a lot of time left in this ball game. You cannot give them more runs. Two men on and two men out. And here's the first one. Chased one that time. Nothing in one. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Strike Looks two. at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Now, Gary, I think he decided that was a pitch he needed to take. As soon as it came out of his hand, just can't handle that fastball up and away. Won't commit on the circle change, and it's one and two. Well, the setup man right now is over the 30 pitch mark, and I tell you, these guys are used to having quick innings and basically only pitching one inning at a time. The more pitches he throws, the better chance the opposition has of hitting him. Try to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. Two two looked like a circle change that missed three and two. Well, that's a tough pitch right there to lay off of that change up down and away and out of the strike zone. But the hitter must have been looking for it because he wasn't fooled at all. Full count pitch and that misses ball four. Now you got the sacks full. Well, after a long epic battle, this at bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. Fernandez at the plate. And he'll be hacking right here, Steve, with the sacks full. And he could pretty much put this game out of reach with a big hit. Bases are loaded with two down. There he goes for a second. Ball! is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Well, this is no time right here to try to nibble on the corners. You've got to throw a pitch down the middle and hope you can get the hitter to get himself out. If you make a quality pitch, you can get out of this inning. If you don't, you're going to get hurt. Swing and a ball popped foul to the left side. Here's the 2-1. 2, -one. Strike two, two -one delivery of fastball, taken for a call, strike two. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. He's ready. 2-2 two -two on the way. Three. Circle change misses, and it's full, 3-2. and two. Well, you got to like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed, though, with that changeup down and away. The 3-2 pitch. Ball Lost four. him. Ball four. And that's going to force a run in. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat. But the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. Two outs. Bases loaded. 
And here's the first hit up the middle. And Tejada picks it up. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they score one run. Two hits leave three on. It's the Blue Jays by four. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Swung on, hit, Wells to field. One away. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Base is empty with one away. First pitch to Tejada. He makes contact. Line drive. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. You just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, that you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. One out man on first. The first pitch. Ball. And that's too low. One and oh. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Here's the one oh. 1-0 pitch is a fastball high, 2-0. Now the 2-0 pitch. There's a bullet towards third. That's 1-0. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. Here are the teams that slammed the door shut last year. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Rays. Second, the Rangers. Blue Jays third. Red Sox fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, you tell yourself when you have such a great bullpen like this team does, one of the top teams last year in the league in saves, you tell yourself, if we have a lead in the sixth, seventh inning, we are going to win this game. And more often than not, these guys come in and get the job done. One zero pitch is a fastball high to an zero. Oh, and the two zero pitch is a fastball low three and zero. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. And that one is a fly ball. This could do it. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. Well, it's that time again. How about we take a look at our player of the game? Now, a lot of these times you get multi-hit games, but they really don't mean anything. This one, though, was very important because everything he did constituted them scoring runs. He set the table, he scored runs, and that's why he's our player of the game. And Steve, they're able to win this game where they're handling. A little bit of home cook in here that was right on from the beginning. Now, Gary is a player you always like having the 10th man out there, and these fans provided that today. They were into it. This is Gary Thorne with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time, as good as we did. Then you're all set. See you next time.